Hello everyone, welcome back to Football Manager 2017 with Newcastle United and today we are starting off with a game against Man City but there's a quick update before we get into the match and that is that I finally got on around to bringing in all the supplementary face packs and stadium packs badges so even teams like Maccabi Tel Aviv now actually have their official badge. Um, it should help just make the game look a little bit nicer, obviously all the player players have got their pictures in. It's the same um, player pack that I used last season, so there might be the odd player missing if they're particularly young, but it was quite a comprehensive pack and I quite liked the look of it. Um, in terms of today's episode, we are taking on Manchester City in the first game, and then there's a good run of five games that I think we should be winning. Uh, we now have our Europa League group sorted, so we play in AZ Alkmaar. Uh, in today's episode, and then a little break before we have to take on Solna. Uh, but Villarreal are the big team in that group. It looks like we've got a really nice run of matches. We've obviously already beaten uh, Arsenal and Leicester. So once we take on Man City, we've got a really nice run of matches without any of the major teams. Um, and then we have a big crunch period. Um, but our start to the season has been absolutely phenomenal. And if we can beat Man City today, we're in a really good place to just push on and try and get into that Champions League sort of space and maybe build up a little points buffer if we can. Um, but let's get into today's match. The team that we're putting out there, we did rest a few players in the last game, which was a dead rubber. Um, so we've got Origi, Campbell of Vazquez, uh, Vilhena, Kovacic and Silva, and then Rahman, Mangala, Mamana, Flanagan and Murray. Um So it's quite a strong team. Everybody's pretty fit and fresh, um, but I'm not expecting a result, I'm just hopeful of one. Fernandinho looking for De Bruyne, he sends the ball in and Aguero's at the near post and we're 1-0 down inside 5 minutes. Kovacic to Vilhena, he's found Batshuari up front, chips it over, Joel Campbell's inside, oh and he's hit the post. Lucas Silva, Vilhena to Batshuari. we're piling forward now and it's Joel Campbell on the wing, pulls it across, Wijnaldum and again! The substitute has done it. He's only just come on and he's made it one all. Right of old. Out to Griezmann. Cutting inside to De Bruyne. Lacazette's through. He's beaten the defence. Lacazette fires over. Baba Rahman to Lucas Silva. Now Vilhena back to Rahman. Nice passing play. And Rahman's free down the left. He can swing the ball in. He does. It's rolled around and been put in. We're two on up. We've turned Man City over. It's Joel Campbell with a goal. What a performance from the team. We've beaten Manchester City away from home. That was phenomenal. And we did it after being behind at half-time, 1-0. We've come back and made it four wins from four in the league now, beating Leicester, Arsenal and Manchester City. Well, there is one big piece of uh, transfer news to tell you. It's the only move we've really made uh, since the last update. And it's come on deadline day. Liverpool, who lost both Grutzka and Ali for a combined sort of, well, it must be £120 million pounds or so, um, decided to come in for Gilfie Sigerson, who doesn't play that regularly for us, and he is 29 years old. So when the bid came in, I was actually a little bit happy because uh, we hadn't transfer list him, which meant we could get more money. He's gone for what will eventually become £28 million. Pounds. I'm pretty sure he will fulfil all of the um, additional add-ons maybe not the international appearances because that's 20 games but the base fee is 22 and a half million pounds which is more than we signed him for i think uh yeah we made a one and a half million pound profit but he only played three games so far this season last season it was quite good for us but was um had to be played mostly because of complaining about not playing so given we signed witzel um i didn't feel that we necessarily needed um him in the team and it will give Witzel more of a chance to play. We've also got Loftus-Cheek in reserve if we need him. Um, so it seemed like a good piece of business to do. We've now got the international break to go through. Uh, but before we do that, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I think it's going to be quite an exciting season. I expect us to be in and around the Champions League, if not going for the title based on current form. Um, so make sure you subscribe and see how the rest of this season pans out. Quite a few changes for the match the other side of the international break. We are at home against Everton, which is going to be another tough game. They are doing well at the moment. They've got Eddie Howe in charge, and they're doing reasonably well up in fifth place. Um, 
We've also got a few injuries. So Chambers is coming at right back with Keane in at centre back. Mamana partnering him. Uh, Vinaldum is into the centre midfield because Vilhena got injured on the international break. And Christian Atsu is going to start on the left wing. I think we've also lost Joel Campbell, um, or at least he's having to start from the bench at the moment, which is not ideal. But I think overall the team is still very strong. We should still get a good result from this match. Vinaldum in the centre of the park, having a run forward. He's been very direct today. Atsu doing the same on the left flank, beats the defender, sends an early cross in. It's come for Vinaldum. He finds Kovacic, and Kovacic has put us ahead. It's another great strike from him, and we're 1 0 up. Andre Gomez sends the ball out wide, but Baba Rahman wins the header, and now Atsu is free down the left flank. He's got acres of space, takes it to the byline, pulls it back for Origi. 2 0. Jesse taking the ball down the left flank, cuts inside, and Immobile has scored for Everton. I think it's their first shot on target, and it's gone in. Coleman sends the ball, Limamana gets it away. It's come for Asensio, though. Vinaldum stealing it. Now Origi can launch a counter-attack. He's got Vazquez free on the right. Can we get a third? Sends it to the byline. There's Chambers' header. Now Origi volleys it into the bottom corner. 3-1, and he's got 10 goals already this season. Vinaldum cutting inside to Batshuari. There's a ball out to Atsu. Just looking for that final pass. It's Kovacic through to Batshuari, who hammers it into the top corner for 4-1. It's another stunning victory for the, from the team against another big club as well. Um, I, don't, I can't explain this brilliant style. We had a great end to last season, but winning five matches in a row at the start of the Premier League season is absolutely phenomenal. We're now three points clear of Stoke, who are second. Four points clear of Spurs, who are probably the nearest rivals. Um, it's absolutely incredible. I honestly didn't expect this start. Well, we are kicking off our Europa League campaign uh, in earnest now. We've got Christian Atsu on the left flank with Vasquez on the right. But Shwari is getting the nod after scoring late on in the last game. Origi did pick up a little knock, but he is back to full fitness. But I want to rest him for the league game at the weekend. Witzel coming into defensive midfield for Lucas Silva. And then we've got Keen, LaSalle, Mamana and Rahman in the defence. Witzel, forward to Vinaldum. Now Baba Rahman on the left flank. Sends the ball in early and it's gone into the net. It's an own goal from Gravenberch. And we're 1-0 up inside two minutes. Keen's cut that ball out. Sends it back to Rahman. He knocks it forward. Vinaldum on the ball. Picks out Batshuari. There's Baba Rahman across to Vinaldum. Now Vasquez goes down in the penalty area. Witzel to take the penalty. It's saved. Keen out to Atsu. Sends the ball forward to Vinaldum. Cuts inside brilliantly and scores a great individual goal from Jorginho and Vinaldum to put us 2 0 up and give us breathing room. Gordon from Vasquez. It's dropped to Vinaldum. Looking for his second. It is just blocked, but he pulls it back and Les Sells has a tap in. There is the full-time whistle. It's our first real European match, and we've won it by three goals to nil at home. It means we've won yet another game. It's a phenomenal run that we're on. This little notification coming up saying we're on fire. I think that means that we have now won 10 matches in a row in competitive football. I think in real life that would be a Newcastle club record. I think the current record is eight. So winning 10 in a row in all competitions is absolutely phenomenal. And it could still continue with games against Hull, Birmingham, West Brom, Solna, Huddersfield and Bournemouth. Who knows how far this can go. A few changes, bringing some players back into the team. Origi back up top with Atsu and Vazquez on the wings. Vijnaldum and Kovacic start again with Lucas Silva tucked in behind them. Rama and Mamana, Keane and Chambers are the full defenders. Free kick for Huddleston. Oh, it's deflected in. We're 1-0 down. It's Hull's first shot and it wasn't even on target. Vinaldum inside to Origi. Still going on his own, Origi. The ball's fallen for Rahman. Now Kovacic over the top for Rahman again. Puts the ball across. It's cleared, but only as far as Joel Campbell, who makes up for the own goal to equalise. We've got 12 minutes to try and find a winner. Ball over the top, looking for Campbell. It's fallen in for Origi. Who scores? We're 2-1 up. It's another turnover for the team. We've taken the lead. We've got five minutes to see out now. Well, it looks like we've done it the hard way, but it is going to be another three points. Our winning streak continues. 11 matches now. Absolutely incredible. We're now playing in the EFL Cup. Um, 
quite a few changes to the team. We are away from home against Birmingham. I do want to win this match, if only to keep this winning streak going. Um, we've got Loftus Cheek coming in next side, next to Witzel with Chambers playing in defensive midfield. Um, Pulisic is starting for the first time this season, so Atsu has moved to the right with Batshuari starting at the top. Defence has Gomez and Lasalle in the centre. Otherwise, quite a strong uh, unit back there. We've got such good squad depth this season. I think it's why we're winning so many matches, is that we're able to rotate players and still have great ones in there. So I think we should be coming through this match quite comfortably. Uh, we are away from home, which is always a bit more difficult, but I really want to make it 12 wins in a row. Witzel, back to Loftus cheek. Batshuari's in the box, finds Pulisic. And there's Batshuari to finish it. We're 1-0 up. Batshuari's won the ball there from that header. Still going. Oh, what a strike. Mishi Batshuayi did that all on his own. He's asked for more playing time, and I'm going to give it to him. Odauda. Fouled by Mamana, and I think he's going to get a second year card. A little bit needless when we're 2-0 up. That is the risk of playing a sort of aggressive tactic. And he has walked. It's, I think it's our first red card this season. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it doesn't really help us. Despite that red card, we have won the match. It was a routine victory in the end. Uh, no real complaints. And we're into the fourth round. Quite a few changes for the match against West Brom. Mishi Batshuari is going to continue up top after the two great goals he got in the last game. Atsu moves to the left and Origi is actually moving out to the right. Uh, Vilhena and Kovacic in the centre with Lucas Silva behind them and it's a full strength defence other than Gomez having to come in. We've got a few suspensions and injuries in defence now. That's four defenders we've got out. Um, so Gomez needs to play in there. But overall, a, another strong team uh, being sent out. This is the opportunity for a 13th win in a row. It could be match unlucky 13. Um, so I've got that in my mind now that we are going to lose. But hopefully we get the win. Keep this incredible winning run going. Phil Hayner having a run at West Brom. Picks out Christian Atsu. He's cutting in from the left flank but loses the ball. He's got it back though, and now Batshuari goes for goal. It's another great goal for Mishi Batshuari, justifying his selection in the last two matches. We're 1-0 up. Osborne's robbed Chambers, and now he's running down the left flank. Sends the ball across. Bubba Rahman clears, but there's Rondon nods it in. Huge mistake from Callan Chambers, and West Brom are back in from nothing. Osborne, who created the first goal, is running down the left flank. Pulls it across to Norwood. There's Korea into Rondon. Good save for Merritt. Baba Rahman. Picks out Vilhena. Kovacic into Atsu. There's Rahman. He can swing it in. And there it is. Christian Atsu puts us in front. Corner for West Brom. Just 10 minutes left. Cleared away by Lasalle's, but Zahar has got it. He's running at the defence. Given too much room. Murray with a stunning save. Last second free kick. Cleared away by Lasalle's. Zahar on the volley. That is it. We've won again. 13 victories in a row. Who would have thought that possible at the start of the season? We're up on 21 points now. Four points clear of second place. I cannot get over how well we are playing at the moment. It's absolutely phenomenal. We aren't just getting good results. We're also grinding them out. There's a lot of character to the team, which helps. And I think this run can keep going. It's absolutely phenomenal. And then we've got... Solna, Huddersfield, Bournemouth, Villarreal and two games against Southampton. Next episode, we could win every match again. It's going to be tough. There's a lot of away games at the moment. We've had three in a row. This will be four when we take on Solna and then there's two more after Huddersfield. But it means that we'll get a run of home games in the future. But I am just absolutely blown away with how our, how our season has started. If you compare it to last season... The start that we had was the total opposite. We didn't win a game for 10 matches. Now we've won our first 13. Absolutely phenomenal. But that will be all for this episode. If you want to see if we can keep this 100% record up in the next episode, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope you can tell how much I'm enjoying this save right now. It is going to be daily updates, so make sure you're tuning in to see how we get on. Um, and if you are very happy at uh, performance in this episode, also drop a like on the video. But until next time, see ya.